Spirit Tribe. Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you guys are able to join me here today. I know two videos in a row, am I right? I don't normally do that anymore, but you know, since I know that I'm going to be having all of my teeth removed tomorrow and because it is St. Patty's Day, I decided to go ahead and shoot a little special dealing with our wealth, dealing with our money here, you guys, you know, because when we do think of St. Patrick's Day, you know, we always envision that pot of gold, you know, is was my thought and I have some pyrite, excuse me, I have some pyrite here and I have my greens all around, all my greens that I could find and I am wearing a green shirt, but there, I think you can get just a little peek of it. It's my um, Luck of the Irish shirt. So, um, yes, loving it. I am going to pull a few tea leaf messages, a few fortune cookie mini deck messages. And because tomorrow we have the full moon in Virgo, I was led to pull some Queen of the Moon Oracle cards. Um, <clears throat> So we will go through all of that, you know, our mind on our money and our money on our mind. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while and it felt pretty good. <laughs> all right, you guys. So <clears throat> if you're new to my channel or if you've been here a while, I want to say hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here and that you're able to join me. And I hope that you enjoy the messages here. You know, please comment down below, you guys. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not, you know. Let me know those things because, you know, it's not all just all about me if I can get my words out here. Um, so, yeah. I can't believe it's St. Patrick's Day today anyway, you guys. Like, my mind is blown because of that. But, all right. So, you guys, for this reading, it is for the general collective, and even though we are doing it on St. Patrick's Day, it is still a timeless reading. So, you know, remember to take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. You know, if it doesn't apply, you just go on ahead and you let her fly, you guys. You know, um, our... our intuition is going to let us know what is right for us and what is not but remember to keep an open heart and open mind and open ears that are really willing to listen to the truth and um you know may the right words at the right time be given to me so that i'm able to speak the truth in love is is that's very important to me as well because you know sometimes you'll feel like a little click and I'm calling it a little click, a little spark, you know, however, oh, however you want to look at it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and so, um, and it doesn't quite feel like it's right, but it doesn't exactly feel like it's wrong. And, you know, that could be because there are things coming up on the horizon. There are things being worked out behind the scenes. And even though it doesn't make total complete sense now, it may here shortly or you know in due time is also what I'm hearing here as well so um also if you are new to my channel I do have neurological issues I try to throw that out there so please be kind um I do this to the best of my ability trying to use my gifts so I don't lose them or you know they deteriorate deteriorate I can't talk today so <laughs> struggle bus but um yeah so this year has been a get better get healthy journey for me I had a hysterectomy in January tomorrow I go and get all of my teeth pulled and at some point I will be going for an MRI and to see a neurologist so um if you see me struggling or hear me struggling you know, just be kind, just be patient and loving because I'm trying to be more kind, patient and loving towards myself. So, and it can be a struggle, but um, also I wanted to give a big thank you um, in the description of all my videos. There is a link to a PayPal 
um, I believe they call it like a fundraiser thing and um, to help my parents and my husband and I during this time my uh, stepdad lost his job after 26 years of being in a car accident that wasn't his fault and uh, he and my mama got banged up pretty pretty bad you guys it totaled their vehicle and so when you live in a small town and you have to drive 50 miles away it's kind of hard not to have a vehicle and I'm trying to do my best to get funds together maybe to help with a down payment and also to help pay bills here um, my husband's been taking care of me and I'm waiting on disability because my doctor pushed for it and when I went to see their doctor she pushed for it too so um, hopefully it'll go to trial soon but that's kind of where we're at but a big thank you I had someone donate 30 and I had another individual down download donate 20 <laughs> so um, the 30 helped my husband be able to get his ID so he is has been going out to look for jobs of course taking care of me is a full-time job um, I have trimmers as well as everything neurologically going on and it's just it's a lot sometimes but you know what we're gonna focus on the positive we're gonna focus on the good and we're gonna get some messages here and up first we're gonna get some tea leaf messages here all right spirit when it comes to wealth and you know please keep in mind this is coming through here that wealth can mean more than just money you guys you know what whatever it is that makes you feel wealthy you know whether it's uh, if all you have is love you're wealthy um, you know different people look at wealth in different ways oh we have the lobster coming out here for a financial pinch my goodness so you know, like I was just explaining you guys, um, you know, with everything that's been going on in the world, you know, we all know what that is. Um, a lot of us have been feeling this financial pinch and, you know, a lot of us are hurting and struggling and um, um, saving for a rainy day is coming to mind and that's something that I'm slowly going to have to do is rebuild up my rainy day fund. Right now everything that comes in goes right back out and you know for you you may be in <clears throat> that same exact position and it's it's stressful you know even when you do look at the sunny side of things and stay on the positive you know when you're being pinched and pinched and pinched constantly over and over and over again it does make it hard to stay in a positive frame mind you know because I imagine getting pinched by a lobster would be painful I've never experienced that thank goodness I would probably flip out but <laughs> Um, you know, when we're filling it <clears throat> in our finances and when, you know, and it's not necessarily that people are in the red, although, you know, there may be times where you're like, oh my God, and then once you are, it's hard to get back out of that. But, you know, when you're just at zero or a few pennies and stuff keeps rolling in, it's like, oh my God, you know, so if you're feeling that pinch if you're feeling that anxiety from that pinch you're not alone and hopefully it gets better soon pull some more cards here see what else spirit has for us if it applies let it fly let it pop let it flip whatever it is that it needs to do in order to get my attention here Ooh, and we have the moon for changes in your life. So, you know, we do have a full moon coming in tomorrow. It's the full moon in Virgo. Virgo is an earth sign. And when I think of earth signs, you guys, I think of being grounded, of being mature, you know, and handling your finances, you know, to the best of your ability, you know, having having a plan, thinking ahead, you know, and, um, you know, just like the moon ebbs, ebbs and flows and goes through cycles, so do we, so 
does um, all the things that make us feel wealthy, you guys. And, you know, if you've been in this for a while, the moon's here ushering in <clears throat> a new cycle um, of change, you know, and like, hello, yes, bring that, bring that on home to me. Money, 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 you know, and I just think that's so fitting that that came through. Let's see. Um, when we have a full moon tomorrow. Fair woman. I'm not feeling that one. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am feeling these two. <laughs> How wonderful for this to show up today. Am I right? For Leaf Clover. Like, y'all, I could not make this up. It says great good fortune. So, you know, yes, we've been in this financial pinch and, you know, it could be because of the circumstances going on in the world around us and, you know, ushering in new changes and, you know, you could begin to see, you know, usually we feel the energy from when the moon's going to be full or new, like three days before, three days after. So you could already be feeling these changes taking place even now and you know ushering in and remember to show your gratitude remember to show that you are thankful um count your blessings instead of your possessions is something i'm hearing here um four leaf clover you guys wow great good fortune so you know we're ushering in this time of change here you guys and we also have the well which i felt led um you know because what do we do at like wishing wells is what's coming to mind. You know, we we make a wish and we throw in whatever coin we happen to have on us. And this is saying that family wishes are going to come true. So, you know, it's not just all about you, you know, um, especially when you're putting it out there, manifesting you know, good luck, good fortune, you know, wealth and abundance for your whole family. And, you know, that can be anyone you consider a family member, you know, whether they're blood or not, you guys. But, you know, when we think of things other than just our own needs, which I know when they're great, that can be hard to do. But, you know, when we're sending that out, you guys, it builds steam as it comes back. And not only does it bless us, it blesses those that it goes out and touches so i hope that that makes sense and i think we will get one more of these tea leaf cards here that's what i'm being led now okay so <laughs> the funnel a period of frustration lessons to be learned so you know i am feeling this with that um financial pinch you guys you know that it funnels you know and sometimes when we're funneling things things can get stuck right so you have to you know poke it or shake it around you know for things to flow naturally again release the outcome release your expectations open you know your open your heart your mind and your ears your soul you guys um you know because there's lessons to be learned you know and while we're going through this financial pinch if we start you know planning um you know ahead you know, this is giving us a chance to relook at things, you guys. Um, you know, we may have to go through things like, do I really need this? You know, like my mom, and my mom is an earth sign. She is a Capricorn sun. I'm Capricorn moon, so, but my Leo gets in there and is like, let's spend. It's burning a hole. But my mama saves for a rainy day, you guys. And, um, you know, she says from the time I was young, you know, needs and wants or wants and needs. Yeah, wants and needs. Do you want this or do you need this? And I'm like, but it's both, <laughs> you know, but as I'm getting older, I really have to look and be like, mm, you know, do I need this for every day life? Is it something that nourishes my body, my soul, you know, or is it just, oh, like the crystals, you guys, I like, this is a struggle of a want and a need. And cause I think I need all the crystals all the time, but you know, if it comes between this and do I get to eat, 
I'm gonna choose eat so <laughs> you know now when I was younger I would choose the shiny thing over eating sometimes and yeah so I've I've had to learn my lessons and it usually is for me during a period of frustration and it's one that was self-made so I had no one else to blame but myself so you know you live you learn kind of like that Alanis Morissette song I was listening to that the other day it took me back to the days of my youth all right you guys I'm going to get a few fortune cooking mini deck cards here hopefully some luck of the Irish comes out for us all right fortune cookies is that we need to know here spirit if it applies let it fly let it pop let it flip whatever it is that it needs to do in order to get my attention here as a general collective okay ooh declutter show you that declutter your life let go of correspondence objects and people that you no longer want Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. You know, just, you know, we got to declutter, you guys. And I keep hearing spring cleaning, you know, um, the things that no longer serve us. And, you know, um, not everybody that comes into our life is meant to stay forever. You know, everything has a season and, you know, the moon ebbs and flows you guys season cycles so you know it could be moving someone or something out so that someone and something for your greater good can come in be an added blessing is what I'm hearing here but you know first we gotta you know and you may be um what is that called like angry cleaning <laughs> you know like I'm so frustrated I'm gonna clean <laughs> Sorry, you guys, that made me laugh and snort a little bit. I've, I've been there, so totally get it. All right, let's see if there is anything else here from the fortune cookies. I love this little deck. I also really love the tea leaf cards. Um, actually, the tea leaf cards were a gift from my friend Taria. Uh, she has two channels, Hidden Truth Tarot and earth goddess or goddess of earth I think um I get things mixed up sometimes you guys oh positive work outcome so you know if you've been wondering about work so consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making um again though you guys you do have to check in with your finances, I'm being given this caution here ahead of time, you know, and it may be you have to save a little bit, you know, um, but trust and believe, you know, that the finances will be there, you know, if it's in alignment with your greater with for uh, for your greatest good. <laughs> Eventually, I'll get it, you know, that, you know. Because this is the effort that you're putting forth and the universe recognizes that and then in turn rewards. I hope that that makes sense, you guys. Um, I do apologize for my brain. Let's see. Ooh, challenges. Okay. So we do have some challenges, you know, no stranger to that after seeing the funnel and the lobster. So this says take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. So, you know, we definitely don't want to make anything worse on ourselves. And, you know, sometimes when we're frustrated, you know, we only look at things through the eyes of our anger or our frustration or our sadness, however, you know, it comes through for you. And, you know, when we take a time out, when we start counting our blessings instead of our possessions, you know, and, and slowing down and really, you know, seeing, you know, things are, things are great. You know, I'm not just out for myself. I'm considering my loved ones, family, friends, and you know, I'm open to receive. I'm open to these changes that want to take place, that want to push out, 
you know, the struggle and everything and make things a lot better, you know. Um, you know, sometimes when we're frustrated, I'm going to try my best to get this out the best that I can. Our tongue tends to uh, take on some bitterness, some acidity, and we may say things, we may mean them at the time, you know, if we're in that frame of mind, but once we calm down, we're like, oh, you know, so, and that could definitely make an already stressful situation so much worse, you guys, and that is definitely something that we don't want to do. You know, know that these challenges are going to pass, you know, um, Keep working towards the things that you are being led to work toward, towards, you know, decluttering and coming up with a plan, you know, a budget even. There's the word I've been looking for this whole time, a budget, a plan, you know. And, um, and I'm seeing like someone journaling, but it's like, you know, with the, like a bullet journal maybe or something where, you know, they have the month at the top and they have, you know, things that they want to accomplish in all areas of life. It's not just one that I'm seeing here, you guys, like drink more water, walk more, um, set a budget, you know, things like that. And then, you know, it's just, it's, it's so nice, you know, it looks nice. Like I really see someone being dedicated and you know making it pretty like you can draw whoever this is for you can draw and I'm jealous of that because I cannot <laughs> but um, I see that you're really putting in the effort and you know um, I don't know why I just got a flash of that but that's what came through so if that's you you know, the universe, your guides, your angels, the ascended masters are acknowledging that they see you putting in the effort. They see you putting in the work and they will meet you, you know. So, um, you know, keep working towards the middle is what I'm being shown, like meet in the middle, you guys. So, all right. Wow. All right. Let's get a few. This is the queen of the moon. Hopefully I'm saying that right. My brain was like, it's something. It's something to do with the moon. I almost said moonology, but that's my other deck. All right. Wow. Okay. So we have Lunar God, the masculine coming through. So, hmm. You know, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energy within us. And, you know, I know like for me, uh, even before the hysterectomy, I tended to vibe, it seemed like, from a more masculine type energy. Not that I wanted to be, you know, masculine or anything, but um, I always felt a little more comfortable in, you know, the masculine type things, but... I'm very much still feminine, you guys, and I have to remember to give honor to both sides, you know, if that makes sense, and, and to try to bring them into balance, and that can be hard, and, you know, maybe you're like that as well, you know, maybe you vibe uh, with a more masculine energy, whether you're male, female, or you know, trans, transgender, non-binary, whatever the case may be for you, because to me, that's, that's what it is, like, energy is just energy, and, um, you know, so, wow, and the full, you can see the full moon back there, that is a number 42 as well, which can break down to a six, so, um, you know, if you're someone that, looks up numbers maybe these numbers have been appearing over and over again signs and synchronicities is something that I'm hearing here as well um wow so you know honor your masculine side as well you guys is something that's coming through here you know because like I said we both have it coming in and um 
both have it coming in. Both have divine masculine and divine feminine within. My brain took it and said something else. So <laughs> I apologize for that. But, you know, like the moon ebbs and flows, you know, there may be some times when you're vibing more from your masculine energy or more from a feminine energy. And, you know, I've definitely noticed there's months where I do feel you know, like I'm vibing more with one than the other and trying to bring it back into balance there. All right. And, you know, for some, it could be, you know, changes in your life. The moon's, moon's like I've heard your wishes and I'm going to bring it in. But I'm also hearing be careful what you wish for. You know, make sure that what you think you want is what you really want, you guys. So... You know, if you are someone that struggles with, you know, feeling like, well, I'm a female and I should be more feminine, but I feel more masculine, it's okay. So I'm definitely in that category as well, and I hope I'm not offending anyone. I'm, I'm getting it out the best that I can here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> We have the full moon coming in here for power, you guys. And it's a number 16, which can also be a 7. So we do have 6 and 7 showing up here um, in that sense. So a 67, uh, what would that also be? A 13 and a 4. So, you know, like I said, if you're someone that's been seeing these numbers over and over and over again... Go and check them out, you know, type in angel numbers and sometimes they have it for specific, like if you're wanting to know what it means in a sense of love or money or, you know, whatever it is that you're being led to. So be sure to check that out. So this full moon power is coming in here. So, you know, we've we've really had the moon showing up twice here you guys in this reading so you know a time of getting yourself grounded you know because it is a full moon in Virgo you know getting your house in order is something that I'm hearing here as well you know looking your challenges head on and not tuck and tell and running but you know meeting them head on you know knowing that good things are in store and your wishes are going to come true. This period of frustration will be over and once it is, you will have learned some very great lessons. You know, it's it's stepping back into your power and taking authority is something that I'm hearing here as well, you guys. So, you know, um, if you're someone that follows the cycles of the moon and you know, you know what each one is, what each one means, what, you know, practices for whatever um, phase, there we go, phase the moon is in, you know, and manifest, you know, step into your power, call those things that are not as though they were and they shall come to be. And, you know, something that's been a mantra for me for a while is all is well and all will be well because it has always been well. Yes, you guys. Wow. I am blown away by this reading you guys and um wow so much goodness here you guys and you know may you be blessed abundantly in all areas of wealth you know whatever and um you know know that this financial pinch these periods of frustration they will pass things will start rolling in the more you open yourself up the more you clear out the clutter to make room you know um because for some it could be that it's literally on the other side of the door getting ready to knock but it's waiting for you to make room I hope that makes sense. You know, you're lucky, you guys, each and every single day. You know, when you wake up, think of how you're speaking to, you know. I know when I wake up, I, I automatically have thoughts in my head. Um, and they're not always good. They're not always positive. But I'm trying to train myself to wake up and say, you know, I choose to be happy today, no matter what comes my way. Um, helping to see the joy in each and every single situation, 
May my communications be full of love and positive energy, you know, the words that I speak to myself as well as the words that I speak to others. And um, may I be blessed abundantly, you know, in my storehouse, in my basket, may I be able to pay all of my bills on time and still have enough left you know because sometimes y'all we get in that I'm just barely being able to pay my bills and there ain't nothing left after and <laughs> I totally understand that how that goes so um Wow, and I keep just hearing over and over again, trust and believe, trust and believe. And I'm also starting to hear that, May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. And that's all I really remember of that song. But I, I started hearing that as the message of trust and believe kept repeating over and over again you guys all right you guys i i i just want to stay here with this energy i'm having a hard time closing up but um i hope that you guys enjoyed this message this reading um if you did please give it a big thumbs up you guys you know hit it with the old razzle dazzle pizzazzle there please leave comments down below let me know hey you know these were really great messages you know let me know what resonated and you know if there are any other kinds of messages that you would like to see you know if it's a a specific subject like today we did wealth um or you know if you'd want to see a love reading or whatever the case may be you guys please let me know that in a comment below and you know if you catch the shorts when i do the daily freebies you guys um, I can see that people thumbs up, but I can't see who it is. So if you comment down below, I will pull a card for you, um, or get a message from the board for you, whatever the case may be. Um, I do read through all of the comments and respond and try to answer things to the best of my ability. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love and appreciate that so very much, you guys. I love seeing growth. I love seeing expansion. And I love being able to interact with you guys as I am able to. And it's been a long time since I've done two days of readings. And so that's a big improvement, you guys, for for me because that has really been a long time um so you know send me some well wishes you guys as i'm going to have all my teeth cut out tomorrow uh, i am a little nervous uh i know i need and want the teeth out i'm more nervous about being put under <laughs> so because uh, it's such a weird experience so all right, you guys, I hope that you all have a wonderful, amazing day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. May you feel wealthy in all areas and in all ways and at all times. And I want to say thank you. Blessed be. Namaste and goodbye.